this is Katie. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A, but this Q&A, I asked you guys to ask me the most random, unique questions that you could possibly think of. And so, hopefully we got some good ones in here. I think we do. I've peeked. There are some good ones. I ask you guys sometimes to ask me questions or give me video ideas over on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram but you want to be included in those things, go follow me. It's just Katie Carney over there. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's get to the thing, the thing. Come on, load. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, let's just start from the from the top, I guess. Okay, so straight off the bat, Boulder Climber Girl asked, when does a bowl of water become a pool? When you can fit in it? But then like you could fit a baby in like a thing of punch at a party. So is a thing of punch a pool? Like a punch pool? Yeah, that, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say anything that's a punch bowl or bigger is a pool. Because you could, you could put a baby in it. I mean, hold a baby and it don't just leave a baby and some punch. But you know, if it could fit physically, then it's a pool, obviously. Cammie asked, what did you eat today? Nothing, it's 1030, I'm hungry. Someone asked from the age of 13 to 18, how important were boyfriends? 0% important. I did not really care about boys really at all, like a little bit, but I didn't even have a boy. My first real boyfriend, I was 18. I had two boyfriends before that, but one I was like 11 and it was basically a fake relationship because you're 11 and we didn't even like hold hands or hang out outside of school. I think like we did like once, but with like a bunch of other people at a party. And then I had a boyfriend in high school for a few months who ended up cheating on me with one of my friends and I literally did not care because I don't even think we really liked each other. We were just friends and we're like, yeah, we're dating. And I think we hung out maybe a couple times outside of school with like some friends. And like I liked one or two other people when I was in high school, but uh, no, it, it was definitely not something that was like super, super important to me, which I'm so glad about. I am so glad about. Like I was just a very, very, very innocent person in high school. Like I didn't drink, I didn't do anything like I was a very, very innocent kind of person in high school and I'm very happy about that. Alex asked, how are you doing? I am um, average. And then Alex also asked, if you had to lose one of your five main senses, which would it be? Probably my sense of smell. Yeah, out of all of them, probably my sense of smell, which is still like not ideal. But if I had to choose for some reason, like gun to my head and then someone had that magic ability to take away one of my senses, I'm gonna go with smell. And then the, one of the next questions from Compassion That Compels is what's your favorite smell? Uh, okay. <laughs> Two that immediately popped into my head, which are exact opposites, are like Sunday morning at my mom's house because she makes like spaghetti meatballs, so the smell of sauce. And then also the smell of Abercrombie. <laughs> You guys, I have such a weird obsession with the smell of Abercrombie uh, cologne, like fierce. Oh my gosh, I don't know why. I am 33 years old, but I've just always loved that smell since I was young. Don't know why, just always loved it. Sarah asked, wow, this one is creepy and incredible. If a stranger came up and whispered in your ear, what would you want them to say? That they're the owner of In-N-Out Burger and they want to marry me or like marry me off to one of their offspring and then I would be part of the in and out family. That's what I would want. That's exactly what I would want. <laughs> Ooh, gosh dolly asked feta, spinach, balsamic drizzle pizza or plain cheese. First of all, I love how specific that first option is. I have never heard of feta, spinach and balsamic drizzle pizza, but anything with balsamic on it is my jam. I don't know, but honestly, I, I still might go with plain cheese. I'm like a, I'm a plain cheese girl. Maybe add some onions, but the other one sounds good. Can I just have half of like, half a pie, one of one and one of the other. Please, can we just make that happen? Okay, so the next question is, what song would you pay to never hear again? Drop it like it's hot. That is my least favorite song in the history of the world. Just, uh, no, no thank you, no. Absolutely no, zero, n hate that song. Shirley asked, what word could you not properly say growing up? I cannot say two words. And this is not like me growing up. This is right now. I cannot say two words. Statistics, I have to say it that slow and that like enunciated or I cannot say it. I say like statistics, can't do it. And then the one that I really can't say is brewer, brewery, brewery. Can't say it, brewery, brewery, brewery. 
Eileen asked, how did you learn how to do your makeup? I've never heard you answer that before. I don't think that I have ever answered that before. So thank you for the unique question. I don't know how I learned how to do makeup, actually. I did not wear makeup until I was older. Maybe a little, I'm trying to even think if I wore any in high school at all. I don't think I did. And I'm not even really sure I wore any in college. When the heck did I start wearing makeup? I don't remember at all when I started wearing it. So therefore I don't remember how I learned whatsoever because I think that I was just garbage for such a long time. But then years ago I started watching YouTube videos on makeup and that's like what I watch a lot of now on YouTube is like makeup videos. And so I think just even from watching them just for fun because I think it's like really fun to hear people talk about makeup. I think maybe I've learned more techniques and stuff because of that. But I don't really, I can't remember if I had anyone like actually teach me. I, wow, that I can't remember. Oh man, someone asked, would you rather have free gas for a year or free In-N-Out burger for a year? Uh, uh, pro mm, probably, uh, probably free In-N-Out burger for a year because in my head that means somehow that I can have it no matter where I am. That's how I'm kind of seeing that. So I think I'm gonna say free In-N-Out burger for a year. Are you offering? Is that like an offer? Can we make a deal somehow? Let's, let's talk. Did you ever wake up and forget what state you were in? <laughs> uh, I'm sure that has happened multiple times. I'm really, really sure that has happened multiple times. Yeah. What was your first job? <sighs> I think my first job, oh gosh, I had a lot of like little random things. I'm sure it was like babysitting when I was young, except I did not like babysitting. I remember working at my mom's friend's store helping her like organize things or something once or twice. I cleaned my neighbor's house. I worked at Friendly's for one day and then the next day I found out that I had mono or something so I had to quit. And Friendly's is like a, like a chain restaurant, delicious delicious chain restaurant that I cannot eat anymore. But I think my first like actual job where like I went there multiple times a week, whatever was a work study job in college. I was working for the Dean of Arts and Sciences doing global studies research. And that sent me to the UN for like a global studies like forum thing. It was really cool. And then my first job outside of college, cause I only worked like part time in college. Like my mom didn't make me work during college. She still paid for my food and stuff. I took out loans to pay for college and stuff, but my mom still paid for my food. But then my first job out of college was working online doing transcribing for a while after I graduated and then about a year later my first and only like corporate job where I had to wear a like suit ish like business cash was working at a petroleum testing equipment manufacturer so I can make a whole video of all the random jobs that I've had because I've also been like editor of a penny saver newspaper and I've also done children's entertaining where I've had to do puppet shows and dress up as Mickey Mouse like I've had quite quite a number of very random jobs but those are those are some of the first ones I had. Would you rather know when you were going to die or how you're going to die? No, 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 neither. Neither, absolutely neither. No. Someone asked, do you cry at sad parts during a movie or TV show? Yeah, sometimes, yes. One of the things that made me cry the other day watching TV was I was watching the last, I think it was the last episode of How I Met Your Mother, and, oh wait, if you guys haven't seen it, literally block your ears for the next 10 seconds, because, big spoiler, but it's also been over for years, so. But when Barney holds his daughter for the first time and he, like, tells her, like, you're my everything, blah, 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 like, all that speech, makes me tear up because it's just so sweet. Okay, there are so many. Someone asked, what's your favorite way to eat a potato? <sighs> French fries dipped in mashed potatoes probably. Can I do that? Yes, absolutely. I don't even know why I asked. Yes. Someone asked, will you hit all 50 states in your car or at least the lower 48? So I have been to all the lower 48 in my car. I obviously can't go to Hawaii in my car unless I had it shipped, but that seems like a very expensive thing just to have my car in Hawaii. But I have not decided if I'm going to drive to Alaska or not yet. It's actually been something that I'm thinking about, but I have not decided yet if I want to drive there or fly but it has been to all the lower 48. Ashley asked if you had to marry one actor, who would it be? Andy Samberg, but he's married. So do I need to choose a single actor? Then I don't know because I don't know who's married or not. I do not follow like pop culture or actors or anything whatsoever, but I just happen to know that Andy Samberg is married, but he's my celebrity crush right now. I love him so much. Someone just screamed yes. So A plus on the excitement, I'm all for it. Someone said, tell me your feelings related to the Twilight Saga movies. So. I did read those books. I read all of them. That came out when I was in like college, I think. I read all the books and then I saw the first movie and I hated it and then just never saw the rest of them. This is potentially my favorite question that was asked by Chloe. She said, what is your favorite pasta shape? I should start asking this like on first dates because I feel like you get to know a lot about someone by their favorite pasta shape. Uh, mine's the curlies, the spirals. 
the curly ones. I also like like angel hair, but the curlies are the best ones. Oh, someone asked Princess Peach or Princess Daisy. Peach is garbage. She's like my least favorite character. So I guess Daisy, but I don't even really think I know who that is. Hold on, I am the worst, hold on. Princess Daisy. Yeah, I don't even, why do I feel like I don't really know who she is? Oh, I'm the worst, but anyone besides Peach is the answer. I don't know why, but I really do not like her. <laughs> oh, Cassie asked favorite Thanksgiving food. Dang it. Ah, and I'm angry about the question because it's all my favorite. <laughs> I think mashed potatoes with gravy. Does that count as two foods? Or no, because one's a sauce, but sauce is food because you're eating it. Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? I don't think so. Except one teacher popped in my head immediately when you asked that question. So maybe I had like a mild crush on, who is it? Like my English teacher in high school? But I don't think I ever had like a real crush on a teacher. I don't think, or professor or anything. I don't think I did. Oh, Emily asked, if you could get rid of one bug forever, which would it be? All of them. I know we need bugs for certain things, whatever, but I, nope, I cannot handle them. The only bugs that I don't freak out about if I see them are ants and flies, but any other bug I like freak out. I still don't like those, like if they're in my space. If I see them outside, I'm fine. If I see any bug out outside, I'm unless it's like trying to chase me or something, I'm fine. But if it's inside somewhere or on me, I found an ant down my shirt once. Oh my gosh, no. No, I can't, no, I don't even wanna talk about it. Like I can't even see like, if you're reading like a magazine when you're a child and sometimes they have like pictures of bugs, I couldn't even touch the magazine, like the page to flip it over. No, 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 no. Can't do bugs, can't do any bugs, none of them. Nope, even there was a ladybug in my room once when I was young and I made my brother come get it and take it out for me because I was scared of a ladybug. So nope, can't, can't do bugs, can't, no. Mm, no, 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 no. Okay, would you rather have to dance everywhere you walk or have the lowest pitch voice in the world? Probably the lowest pitch voice in the world because then I'd be in like the Guinness Book of World Records. I'd probably get asked to be on like talk shows and stuff. Dancing everywhere sounds super fun, but I think in terms of like, uh, like if I'm thinking like what would be more beneficial from a business side, the one that's gonna get me in the Guinness Book of World Records, so lowest voice. Just from pure business, pure business. For fun, dancing, but business, low voice. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm. McKenna asked, how many states have you lived in? Eight, I think. New York, Tennessee, California, Oregon, Texas, Montana, New Jersey, Connecticut, eight. And I think they were in that order too, I think, or close to that order. Who would win in a fight between a grilled cheese sandwich or a taco, asked by Kyle. Whew. I feel like a grilled cheese sandwich because uh, I think the cheese would just straight up burn the taco. Like I feel like tacos are, you know, hot, but a grilled cheese sandwich, if you're not careful, that will burn you. And it's gooey burn. You know, like a gooey burn is worse than a not gooey burn. I think that's just illogical. And grilled cheese has tomato soup on its side because you kind of can't have grilled cheese without tomato soup. So I think tomato soup is like part of the grilled cheese and then the tomato soup, you could just drown the taco or burn it with the soup. But I think that most people would think a taco because they're like, you know, stronger. But I think grilled cheese is the underdog, but I think they would win. Do you ever feel claustrophobic in your car? No. Sometimes I feel a little like, oh, like I wanna like get out or stretch or whatever, but then I can just get out of my car and go like for a walk or just stretch my legs. But I don't feel ever like claustrophobic in the car, no. But I also don't really feel claustrophobic. Like I don't really have that issue. Like I had an MRI recently and I was totally fine. I don't really have claustrophobic tendencies. If anything, I have the opposite. I remember being in like nowhere, Arizona or New Mexico or something a couple of years ago, like nowhere, like there was nothing. It was completely flat and there, like you couldn't see anything. And that like freaked me out a little bit, but that only happens if it's very, like there is zero, nothing at all around. I don't really get like that in like the Dakotas or anything where like it is still pretty empty and flat, but it's not to that degree. You know, like, so if I'm in the Dakotas and you see some trees or you see a few hills or something, then I'm fine. There's something about like the real, like complete emptiness of the desert that don't like that. Claustrophobia? Nope, I don't have that, I'm good. What's your biggest turn off in a man? Oh, I have a few. But the one that comes to mind immediately is cockiness and bragging. I really dislike when people are cocky and braggy and only talk about themselves. I really, 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 really don't like that. Don't like it. I don't think it's a good trait. I think humility and being humble 
are just, I don't know, more attractive to me. Oh, someone asked what cooking spice is you in a bottle? Cayenne pepper. Yeah, cause like it's spicy and like, but it also goes with a lot of things. So like I'm kind of spicy, but like also like I can generally get along with a lot of people. Like you can put cayenne pepper in like a chocolate milkshake and it will taste delicious. Or you can put it obviously with tacos or with whatever. So I think that I'm spicy, but I can get along with people. <laughs> so <laughs> cayenne pepper, final answer. Favorite Halloween costume. So I do not like Halloween. I do not like being afraid. I don't like being scared. I don't like spooky things. I don't like things jumping out at you. Like I don't like hide and seek. I don't like any of that. But growing up, maybe like when I was like a teenager, my brother Teddy, who's like my favorite person in the entire world, he wore the Scream costume, like the scary guy from Scream with that white mask and like the black like dress thing. He wore that so many years in a row and it scared me so much. Ah. Oh. But for me, a Halloween costume, the only Halloween costume I even remember really ever, I think I was like a dog once. And I think the tail, we took like stockings and stuffed it with something and then like drew on it. But I never really, I don't know. I've just never really been into Halloween or I mean any holidays in general. You guys know I don't really celebrate holidays, but Halloween's like my least favorite holiday. Like someone the other day asked me what I'm dressing up for Halloween this year. And I'm like, I'm dressing up as someone who dislikes Halloween and hiding from everyone else. <laughs> so I just, I don't like it. It makes me nervous. Like, uh, it freaks me out. Okay, the angle might be different because I thought that I had enough space on here, but I've been recording for a very long time because you guys have such awesome questions. So let's answer a few more because I think I've already been recording for 40 minutes. So <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's just answer a few more. Wow, you can only listen to your least favorite song on repeat in your car. Would you still travel? I honestly don't know. I don't know if I could listen to Drop It Like It's Hot over and over and over and over again. Can I just turn it down? Or do I have to, like if I had to, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. On it, I honestly don't know. Could I just switch my mode of transportation? Could I just take a train? Like buy a train car? I don't know. I I don't know. I don't I don't know. This is the hardest question. I don't, uh, this is the, no, I don't like it. It's making me nervous and uncomfortable. I don't know what I would do. I would probably stop. I would probably have to stop. I can't. Drop it like it's hot. I can't, I can't. I can't listen to it. I can't. I really, 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 really dislike that song. Do I dislike that song more than I love traveling? Oh my gosh. This question making me a little sad. <laughs> Someone said, how do you deal being five feet tall in a 5'10 world? First of all, I am 5'2 and a half. Second of all, I don't feel like it's a 5'10 world. Like I feel totally fine in this world. Like I don't feel too short for anything really. Sometimes like it's hard to reach things, but you just climb <laughs> or ask someone taller than you to help. Have you ever gone cow tipping? No, should I? No, I don't think I would like that, but no, I have not. What's the craziest thing you ever did as a teenager? Nothing. I was the most like goody two shoes girl when I was young. I don't think I did anything crazy as a teenager. Do you break off a Kit Kat bar or just go all in and take a bite? First of all, do people actually just go in and take a bite? I don't, I don't want to meet those people. That's, I'm sure it's the same people who don't peel string cheese and you just bite the string cheese. I'm sure it's the same people who just bite a Kit Kat bar. No, I can't eat Kit Kats because they have gluten, but you have to break them and then eat them. Well, how I did it was I'd break them and then I'd eat all the chocolate off because I don't love chocolate. I'm not like the biggest chocolate person. I like it, but I don't love it. So I would eat all the chocolate first to get that out of the way. And then I'd eat the middle part with a little bit less chocolate because I thought that it tasted better. So that's how I ate a Kit Kat when I was younger. <laughs> Can you name all 50 states and do you know all the capitals? I cannot name all 50 states. Have you guys tried that? I think it was a Friends episode where it was like, can you name all 50 states in six minutes? And I've tried a couple times and I think I get about 46 and I do not know really any of the capitals. <laughs> I know some, but I definitely cannot name all of them. Maybe that'll be something that I learn, maybe. All right, someone asked if you could shoot liquid from your fingertips, what liquid would you pick? White cloth. And like, does ketchup count as a liquid? And a champagne one, and a LaCroix one, pomplamous, and like a, just a water one, because I'm gonna need water after all the craziness. Okay, there are still so many more, that like so many more, that I might even do a second one of these, maybe? Or at least just use these same questions for another Q&A in like a few weeks or a month or so because I've literally been recording for almost an hour and I'm like not even halfway done and I need to cut this video down to like 20 minutes. So yeah, I think I am going to stop here. Thank you so much to everyone who asked questions. Again, if you want to be involved in a Q&A in the future or I do polls and stuff sometimes, go follow me on Instagram. It's just Katie Carney over there. Forgot to breathe for a second. And make sure that you're subscribed over here on my YouTube channel and ring the notification bell as well. And yeah, again, thank you guys so 
much for watching. I love having you guys here. And I know I have not done a travel video in quite a long time. I think it's been like maybe like two weeks. <laughs> but Tuesday's video is going to be a travel video. So stay tuned for that and some more vlogs and stuff. And if you guys ever have any ideas or suggestions or thoughts of videos that you want me to make or something that you want me to talk about that I haven't talked about in a while or that I've never talked about, please always feel free to leave comments or message me on Instagram or comment on something on Instagram to let me know your thoughts. And yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.